Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's a big box, Reynolds. For a big day. All right. Congratulations, guys. I'm going to make this official. You are our top five for 2020. Well done. Yeah. All right, guys, head to your benches. And where do I want to go? <laughs> Just joking, Lozzie. <laughs> I know. Friend vibes only. Oh, the back row banded again. This is a very big mystery box, by the way. All right, last week there was a Rubik's Cube under the mystery box. So let's see what's in store this week. Away you go. Oh! Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a little terrarium. Oh my god, what does that even mean? Ah. Nothing in this terrarium is striking me as edible, so I hope we don't have to dig for ingredients. That's right, it's a terrarium. This is nice. A tiny green world, all yeah. in perfect balance. Nature in a glass bowl. That's so pretty. Some of the best art, the best architecture, poetry, and especially the best food all take inspiration directly from nature. And that's what we want you to do today. All right, we all ready, gang? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Let's get this thing started. Your time starts now. Oh, this is so exciting. Mackings. I've already done a couple of dishes that are really nature-inspired, but I've got a couple more up my sleeve. Reynolds. Hi, Mel. Surely this challenge has you super excited. This is, yep. this is your kind of challenge. I feel like all the challenges that I've done before, I should have just saved up for today. Yeah. The part, the Sorry. colour, nature, I've already done that. Brought moss the other week. Moss aside, what are you bringing today? Uh, I'll be doing a uh, dessert that will look like a mushroom with hazelnut, chocolate, and uh, porcini gelato. Incredible. I've done these flavors before in the restaurant and um, kind of make it better. I'm not going to psych you out on this one. Yeah. This is me pushing you to be the best you can be. You've underdelivered a few times yeah. based on trying to cram in too much. How are you not going to do that this time around? I don't want to do too much. This time, I think it's like yeah. only six components. Yeah. But it's just all about the assembling of this dish. That's it. Thanks, Mel. For this dessert to look like a mushroom, it needs to stand upright, have the mushroom stalk and the cap, and it's gonna be really tough to do that in 75 minutes. Normally, I would need about 120 minutes to do this dish, and once again, I'm kind of condensing it down to a 75-minute cook. But this time around, I want to go out of my depth and try different things and come up with a new dish that will wow the judges. Let's do this, Lozzie. Yeah. You can do this. Today I'll be cooking with some mushrooms and I'm going to do a dessert, uh, a porcini gelato with um, hazelnut and caramelized milk chocolate. The name of my dish is as simple as mushroom. The components are porcini gelato, chocolate, almond twill, and the hazelnut mousse. What I really like about this dessert is that I want to make it look like a mushroom as well. The inspiration is coming from earthiness, nuttiness, like from the hazelnuts, and the really rich aroma and umami of porcini. I want this gelato to be punch-in-your-face porcini mushroom. I want this hazelnut mousse to have that really roasty hazelnut taste. I'll pipe it into a hemisphere mold to put in a blast freezer. This will be a mushroom cap. My roasted milk chocolate ganache is going to be the stalk of this mushroom dessert. It needs to be set and frozen before I pour the hazelnut cap. My porcini gelato mix is really nicely infused and I've added enough salt in there. The hazelnut mushroom cap and the chocolate ganache stalk. I'm stretching the almond twill and I want this kind of look like a leaf for a bit more of a dramatic effect. This is, uh, it's coming together nicely. If everything sets perfectly, then I know I'll be able to do well today. Do you still use the blast freezer? Uh, I've, I've got one more thing in there, I'll grab it out now actually. Yeah, one of my stuff might not come out. I check on my panache and is not set at all. This little mushroom stalk is causing me so much stress. 
and it's the only one I have. How are you traveling? Uh, it's a close one, Andy. It's a close one? Yeah. Hey, you were cruising before. I know, it's just the timing. I should stop cruising. What's um, just my component. It's, uh, what, how do I say? It needs to freeze. So it's not set? No. Nah. What, this what component is, is it? The stalk of the mushroom. Oh. If this stalk doesn't set, we don't have a mushroom. I do not have a mushroom. Sorry, brother. Sorry, brother. Oh. My ganache mushroom stalk looks like poop. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to fix this. So I'm just trying to think in my head, but then it clicks. I need to pour this in liquid nitrogen. So that's the stalk. Is that the top? Uh, this is the stalk, yeah. The top is already in. I put my mushroom stalk and ash in a bath of liquid nitrogen to kind of really freeze and set. And then I brush chocolate on until it has those streaks of what mushrooms would have. Everything rides on this one mushroom stalk. I'm taking a huge gamble on this one component. Everyone in Reynolds, this one's kind of for you. Oof. You got one minute to go. Come on! One minute to go. It's coming out fine, huh? Sorry. I've got my hazelnut cap on my store to make it look a mushroom and it slides off. I mean, oh my god, please don't crack. Now pressure is really getting to me. 30 seconds to go, come on! This mushroom is doing my head in. This is really, really stressful. This is the last final moment. If I really screw up now, all that efforts of saving my mushroom stalk was for nothing. Fine, Kel. Yeah. Go meal feed. One little cute popsicle. I'm stoked. myself through the stress. Did you get it done? I did, actually. Nice. Well, God, done. well done, man. Good stuff. That was a close call. All right, Reynold, let's have it, mates. <laughs> There's some concentration on his face. <laughs> Reynolds, explain the dish. It's called mushroom. Porcini gelato with milk chocolate, hazelnut mousse, almond wheel, uh, chocolate soil. Are oh, you full of smiles? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was really stressful, as you can see from my apron. Probably one of my messiest cooks, but I'm happy <laughs> that I got it up. You said it was going to be a mushroom dessert? Yeah. It looks like a mushroom. It smells like a mushroom. You were, I think it's safe to say right down to the line though. Did you think you'd better have more you could chew there oh, for a yeah. second? But there it is. Look at it, that looks <laughs> like a mushroom stem. Reynolds, I couldn't imagine a mushroom being able to taste more mushroomy. Porcini is the key flavor in there. You'll be pleased to hear through that ice cream. The texture of the ice cream is fantastic. The milk chocolate mousse in the stem is brilliant, encapsulated in that white chocolate on the outside. It looked like a mushroom stem, it's fantastic. That twill, what are you calling this? It's just a pulled almond twill. Very good. Presentation-wise, that's one of your best dishes. Thanks, Chuck.
you get a huge punch of mushroom as soon as you eat it. But then it just glides with you the whole way through all of the different layers of chocolate. That could be your, I'm going into immunity tomorrow because that blew my mind. Talk about mushroom magic, the balance of the bitter chocolate, the white chocolate, the hazelnut, the almond, the fine tuning of the sweet and the salty. And for me, that little bit of lime zest that's still playing around on my palate. I freaking loved it. Oh, thank you. Well done. Thank you guys, thanks so much. The judges love my mushroom dessert. I'm so stoked because this is me. I like, this is the stuff I love to cook.